Hello all, welcome to my channel, it's FantaBH again, and today we will uh, talk a little about how to convert a new generation brand name, computers, uh, power supplies, uh, this is uh, Lenovo 10th genera generation, but uh, even newer generation using the same power supply and this is a uh, Dell 13 generation power supply very unusual one believe me let's start from this Lenovo this Lenovo machine power jack and CPU power jack and main power jack are quite uh, easy to understand black are ground or common yellow are plus 12 volts only question is what to do with green wire well on this connector uh, you will cut all wires and uh, connect yellow to yellow black to black and green wire will be connected uh, to the ATX24 power jack to the green wire and all and both together to the ground wire but what to do if you come to Dell computer look at this boys this is not needed look at these colors what they are look at here who is expert who decided to use broken wire for for uh, plus 12 volts I would like to know to recommend him for uh, some deep exam medical examination look at here only what you can know here but according to all other colors of wire you even can doubt in that but since black wires are here here ground here black wires are ground as well but what are all others red blue purple gray what are those wires? Well, I will tell you now. Blue wire in this case is same what is green wire on Lenovo. It's power on wire. Of course, it's not 12 volt, volts. Uh, it's same like in Lenovo, 5 volts. Black to black. Purple are yellow. So purple wires are plus 12 volts. Those wires will go to the yellow wires of our takes. So gray, this wire, and broken wire are used uh, like a feedback from motherboard to the power supply. So there is nothing on them when you when you power on power supply without motherboard but when this is plugged into motherboard these two wires bringing 3.3 volts back to the power supply what i do know is that gray wire is uh, feedback to the power supply from motherboard that uh, power is okay that means what is the brown wire I have no idea believe me but you don't have to worry about them in case you wanna place ATX normal power supplies uh, into Dell machine forget those two wires do not connect them anywhere just use these wires as uh, ground these wires as uh, 
plus 12 volt red plus 3.3 volts remember that this is plus 3.3 volts and blue is always known as green wire so this will be shorted to the ground in same time like green wire from the ATX24 pin in both cases you c for both of these you can refer to the my video of uh, conversion 10 pin Lenovo con 10 pin Lenovo connector power supply to the 24 pin ATX power supply So we plug it, as you see, we plug it to the black and we will probe each wire for you. Now let's plug this power supply. Yep, we have green, you see, green. So let me show you. Nothing on this uh, gray wire nothing on brown wire purple wire I'm in wrong range sorry nothing on gray nothing on brown plus 12 volts as you see on instrument I hope I hoping you see yep so plus 12 plus 12 3.3 volts blue well uh, red so purple plus 12 purple plus 12 3.3 volts red wire we shut down this you see no power now there is nothing no plus 20 look at it it still have plus 12 what the fuck it need to discharge I think Look at five volts power on. But what is interesting on this power supply, even it shut down it. There, I don't understand how it works, really. Since we have 12 volts still, it's shut down. And look at green light. It's off. So what is actually off on this? It's just uh, that this wire now have 5 volts, it's not uh, shorted. But we have still 12 volts, we have still 12 volts. We have nothing here, we have nothing here. We have still 3.3 .3 volts. So... <sighs> I really don't understand how this working. It's it have something in correlation between Dell motherboard and uh, power su power supply over this and this two wires because they feedback it's feedback from the board to the power supply 
3.3 volts on both so that do something but as you can see no when I short blue and when I short blue and look at it now it's green and it's power on and but nothing changed on the connector no power no power here 12 volts 12 volts you see and here 3.2 volts but let's check one thing here we have 12 volts but what we do have here let me see CPU still have power You see what I wanted to tell you, when this power supply working, uh, when Dell power supply working uh, with Dell motherboard, everything is, is in correlation, nice and uh, sweet, without motherboard, this power supply really don't know what to do, so it does not shut down actually. That is, but uh, what about uh, when you use when you use uh, ATX power supply? I need to try that soon in one of the next videos. There will be. Uh, I will publish what happened because I will try to power on Dell machine, Dell motherboard with standard ATX power supply because uh, nothing is clear here. You see, let me switch to Lenovo. Uh, I can't switch it to Lenovo because this Lenovo power supply is broken. That is what I wanted to show you in this video. Nothing being, nothing. Uh, it's just fucking shit. Thank you for watching and see you soon in next video. Even this one was not so funny. Bye bye. Thank you for watching and like, subscribe, enable that little ring and thank you for watching, like and subscribe and see you. In next video.